This is a video of what I bought at the last Columbia Bottle Show. I spent about $700. I paid $175 for this bottle. It's blown in the mold, center script, amber coke from Little Rock. And here's a tooled top. I've never seen one of these. It's from Shelby, North Carolina. It's listed as rare. I paid $100 for this one. I'm sure it's worth more than that though. It does have some heavy scratches right in there though. And here's a nice Art Deco. I've never spent $50 or more on one of these, but this one I did pay $55 to get. There's three or four variants of it. I just wanted one. And another straight-sided Coke. This one's a pretty common one though. Probably paid $15 to $20 for this one. And another straight Coke. It's from the common city of Rome, Georgia. It's got a bit of a lip chip. I paid $5 for that one. And here's a Saratoga water. I don't usually buy this type of thing, but it has a chip right there. And because of that, the guy sold it for only $10. Couldn't pass it up for that price. Congress water. And then I was very surprised to see this sitting on the shelf. This is from the area that I dig quite often. And with the price tag of only $25. And I talked them down a few down to $20. So, so uh, that was a really good score there. And the same person had this bottle. Seven Springs from Goldsboro. I have one already, but mine has a big lip chip. And with a price tag of $40, and I probably got it for $35, I thought that was a great deal because I think it's worth about $100. And Eagle Bottling Works from Frankfort, Kentucky. It's blown in the mold. It's just a good looking bottle for $10, so I got it. And this was sitting on the table for $60, and I thought, that sounds like a really good deal. But on the back, it does have a big chip out of it. But sitting on a shelf, it's very hard to notice that on the back. And the guy said I could have it for 45 bucks, so I thought that was a nice one. And another straight side of Coke. Paid $20 for this one. Then I got another Pepsi. And I was very surprised to see the price tag on this one. Only $10. It's kind of got some scuffs on it, but... What a great deal. It has this lip repair it looks like. But it's on the back. Still looks pretty good for that price. Zero Cola. It's turning light purple. This is Savannah, Georgia. Then I got one of these Amber Art Deco beer style bottles. Just to add some color to my Art Deco collection, and it is kind of unusual. It's definitely got a beer bottle shape to it, and it is from a brewing company. Then I got one of these. These are very common in the big size, but the smaller size, it's like a soda bottle size. I paid about $7 for that one. And another straight set of Coke. It's just a very ordinary one. Savannah, Georgia. Paid about eight dollars for it. And here's one I just bought because you see these in aqua all the time, but this color is quite interesting. I paid twenty dollars for this one. And I bought this big chief because they're just popular with the non-serious collectors. So I just got it for resale purposes. Then I got this new grape because it's so clean and has no case wear on it. It's a beautiful bottle. It doesn't have any city on it, but for $7 I couldn't go wrong. Here's another. Then I bought this mint cola just because I didn't have a clear one in my collection. And then, of course, a green soda water bottle from the Coca-Cola Company. You don't see very many in green, so I picked that one up for 8 or $10. And another straight-sided Coke. 
from the common city of Rome, Georgia. Just bought it to tumble it up and resell it. And there's a nice looking coke. Of course it has a big crack right there, but this particular variation is almost always damaged. They were, they were asking $25, but I got it for $20. And then an embossed Dr. Pepper. It's from the big city of Greenville, South Carolina. It's got a fracture in the side, but I got it for $4, so you just don't see a lot of embossed Dr. Peppers around. And here's a debossed Dr. Pepper. It's extremely clean with no caseware. I just picked that one up for a couple dollars to resell. And here's a Columbus, Georgia street sided Coke product bottle. It's blown in a mold. I just gambled on this one. I paid $10 for it after I cleaned it up and put it on eBay. I have no idea what I'll get for it. Now for some ACLs. This is one I've been trying to get in my collection for 20 years. Indian bottles are very popular and so are pretty lady images and this one covers both topics. And of course dancing is very popular now. I already have one of these. This one's got a bit of a flash crack in the base. But otherwise it's extremely clean and I only paid five dollars for that. Here's a quart. Very clean and a very nice picture and it was only three dollars. I guess there's just a lot of these around. And another quart. With a party scene in the middle from the late 30s. And this is a 28 ouncer. Just got it because it's an amber bottle with orange paint. And this was only three or four dollars so I thought that was a good deal. And you see a lot of the embossed try me bottles that are the same basic shape but the painted label ones. This is only the second one I've ever had. And it's from Savannah, Georgia. Paid two or three dollars for that one. Here's a small Pepsi from the 50s. You don't see them from this country very often. Thought that was pretty neat for five dollars. And this spiral bottle of the famous building that's shaped like that in Tucson, Arizona. Just bought that for resale. I think I paid eight dollars for it. Then one of three variations of the Southway bottle. I think I paid six dollars for this one. It's a very clean example. It's the short stubby variant which is scarcer than the regular tall one. Then I got a Hillbilly Mountain Dew with the name on it. I haven't looked it up to see how rare that name is yet. Then when I saw this 16 ouncer I thought wow that's weird. Welsh is this famous for grape soda. So when I saw that orange label, I thought that was really unique and I wanted to have that. Talking about unique, I've seen plenty of frosty bottles, but never one like this. It's super mint condition and I paid $7 for that. And I paid $6 for this bottle. It's very clean. I already have one, but this is an upgrade. Then I got the Rhythm Punch. This is probably an upgrade to the one in my collection and I only had to pay five dollars for this. Then the Virginia Dare. It's a nice clean example. Paid five dollars for that. It's a popular subject matter. And this is kind of rough. It's missing its red paint. I just picked it up for two dollars because of the fact that it says Dr. Pepper Bottling Company. Then I bought this little 7 ounce Dr. Pepper because you just don't see these in the 7 ounce size very often. And it's super clean and it was only one dollar. Then I bought another one of these. Good looking bottle. You can get ten dollars for these in an antique shop. I think I paid three dollars for it. Then I bought two of these sun drops in the 16 ounce size for just a dollar a piece. Sun drops pretty popular in North Carolina. Then I got a dirty 1915 Coke. Must have paid two dollars for it. From Savannah, Georgia. But after I clean it up, hopefully I can get seven or eight for it. Here's a really nice looking label, but these are super common. There's probably seven thousand of these out there. 
but for one dollar I couldn't pass that up. Then there was a guy that had a bunch of these types of sodas on his table laying down with a sign that said one dollar each. Well, I couldn't pass that up. Here's another dollar soda. Another dollar soda. It's a Christmas Coke. It's got a bit of rust on it, but other than that, it should. It's very clean. Columbia, South Carolina. And then this is a dollar also. Paint's kind of messed up, but still a good deal. And then this one. So that's a nice clean one for a dollar. And a brandy mist for a dollar. No city listed, and it's kind of rough, but I'm sure I can get seven for it. And a common churro for a dollar. Another brandy mist for a dollar. It's got a bit of a fracture in the lip, though. Picked up this soda water for a dollar also. It's nice and clean, but it doesn't have a city on it. And another churro for a dollar. And another one of these for a dollar. Now to the medicines. That's blown in a mold and clear, so that should turn purple and be able to sell for seven dollars. Here's an interesting shoe polish from the 1870s. I'm going to pick this up for only a dollar. Don't know where it's from, but it's a six ounce in Boss Drugstore, so that's a good deal. Here's a Bixby, which I guess would be the shoe polish company. I've never found one of these older ones. And then we've got a castor oil from the Frank Tea and Spice Company. That's a pretty good bottle. Got a couple dings in it though, but I paid only a dollar. And that's a nice flask that I paid about two dollars for. It's a good looking flask too. I also paid about three dollars for this one. Then this half pint. It's very early. It's got a oval slug plate instead of a round one. Then this aqua flask. It's very early as well. Got to be about 1872. Then I paid a couple dollars for this just because of the odd shape to resell it. And then this one with the Duffy name on it. I don't know if that's the same Duffy's as that malt whiskey thing that's so common. But I thought that was rather unique for three dollars. And a full half pint. Just kind of odd to have that big writing on the front. Pay two dollars for that. And here's a company that's still around. This is from the 1880s though. Got a nice design on it. I only paid a dollar for that. Here's another little medicine I just paid two dollars for. And here's a McLean's Volcanic Liniment Oil. I found plenty of these over the years but never one this old. It's got a drippy top and, and dented panels on it. It's a very crude example. Picked it up for two dollars. I bought this for two dollars just because I'm one of the people that knows this is a Wilmington, North Carolina bottle. This must be the sample size of the Phillips. It's only about three inches. Paid a couple dollars for that one. And the last bottle is this giant Dr. Pepper in the half gallon size. Here's the other side. It's a pretty clean example. I paid, I think, $7 for this one. Well, that's it for the Columbia show. It was a great show and I got a lot of stuff for my collection.